Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Uh, today's video we're going to be looking at uh, quite possibly the uh, best games so far of the uh, Brawl Stars World Championship uh, in Poland. Uh, the game is SK versus PSG. Uh, SK uh, is a team that consists of Wadi, Skyrix, Twisty and Ishil. And uh, PSG is a team that consists of Coupe de Ace, Jordan and Relay. Uh, they are a team from Singapore and from the Asian region. And uh, obviously SK are from the European region. Uh, it was super close games. Uh, you can't really pick apart uh, which team is better in these games. Uh, but obviously one team has to win. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into the uh, first game, which is Bounty Layer Cake. I'm going to be showing one game from each of these and just uh, give my overall thoughts because there was such good games and uh, really good to uh, look back on. But yeah, let's jump into the uh, first set. Okay, so currently in this set, it is one all. Uh, the bands for this match were Mr. P and Jean. Uh, so it's definitely the best comp when uh, them brawlers, uh, brawlers are banned. Both teams have played really well in this bounty set. Uh, super close every game uh, was coming down to the last few seconds. That's kind of how layer cake really goes. Uh, a lot of action happens right in the last uh, 10 seconds or so. Uh, so the first <laughs> the first bit of the game is quite an awkward bit. Uh, it's obviously fighting for that first star. Kubda Ace just manages to push up well to get that first star. And Jordan uh, manages to uh, take that down. And Kubda Ace manages to destroy Twisty's grass, which is an unbelievable start. Uh, Twisty goes down again, so it's a really bad start from SK. The sky goes down. So you'd think at this point, uh, PSG should be able to hold the ground really easily. They've broke so much of this, uh, their side of the map. I mean, they're in such a good position, but they do uh, get f uh, pushed back really easily here. Uh, Twisty manages to stay alive, which is going to be crucial, I feel. Uh, Coop is actually playing a really good Piper at the moment. Twisty is known for his really good Piper, uh, and it's been really even fight throughout the games. About the minute, Coop's definitely getting better of him. Wadi he throws his head, doesn't manage to get uh, a shot in relay, but I mean, Sky absolutely <laughs> such a great play from Sky there to get the double kill, and then Wadi manages to uh, finish the tick off. So, a good team wipe uh, from seamless, <laughs> seamlessly uh, looking like they're going to lose the game. They do manage to claw it back, and in this position, uh, when you're trying to chase for the lead. It can be hard to uh, get the kills. They are uh, SKR managing to get nice pop shots off to keep them back. But I mean, in this position now, they know it's all over. So that was really well played from SK there to get the uh, win back. And uh, yeah, let's move on to next. Okay, guys, moving on to the next set here. Uh, it is 1 1 again in this set, just showing how close these games are. Uh, both teams have opted for Pam Lane, which you don't really see a lot in competitive anymore. And uh, just overall, uh, it's probably because of the gene ban, uh, really. And Max isn't really going to be the best against Pam, I believe, especially on this map. Uh, Wadi, um, well, SK's team play uh, Sandy and Tara really well on this map. Uh, so it's going to be hard for PSG to win this. Uh, a bit of a misplaced toy there from Sky. Uh, I think it might be able to cost him here. Oh no, maybe not. So now uh, PSG do have Sandy Super. They can uh, get really good pressure here. Uh, that's really well played there. Okay, so Jordan does have his turret as well now. He, he'd probably be able to play this aggro. Uh, Sky's low as well. I noticed in this game, Sky played a really good Pam. Uh, Pam's not really played much at all in competitive, so it's quite good for uh, when uh, these players can play Brawlers just uh, <laughs> out of habit, really. Um, Twisty has super, he's just using it for presence. I believe Jordan is going to get caught out here. Nice, yeah, it's a good uh, pull in a good team, uh, good team play there from SK. So I believe Sky's pushing up here. Why do you just get caught out here? Uh, it's a really well timed super from Coop. Uh, Twisty pulls but has no ammo to finish him off. Uh, if he would have had uh, a couple more ammo, I believe, I think he only had one shot there. If he would have had two, he probably wouldn't be. Uh, he would have been able to take him out. So now PSG do have control and Tara Super, so it's hard for him to push him back. Uh, Coop's uh, playing really well here, playing extremely passive, uh, not showing his position, and does catch Twisty out. Uh, that was one thing that makes a good Tara uh, is plays like that, uh, just catching the enemy off guard and whatnot. Uh, it's a really good play from Coop, and 
PSG, I mean SK are in a really bad position here. Uh, there's no way we're going to be able to get the uh, get the win back here. But I mean that is such a close game. Okay, moving on to the third set here. Um, it was a really close set again. It is one all again in this set. Uh, and I think the last map, well the last match in this map, uh, PSG did manage to clutch it up with just one HP on the uh, hike in the last second. Uh, so we've seen a lot of Pam again, which is just so strange to see. Uh, a lot of teams don't really ban Jean, so that's probably why you've seen some Pam here. Uh, she pairs really well with Sandy and uh, is a really good uh, well, really good defensively and good against some tanks. And PSG do get the first bot, but I mean, I think uh, the whole game SK are playing for that last uh, bot. Uh, more time, nine times out of ten, when you do get the last bot, it does... Uh, more than likely leads to you winning the game uh, but it's really well played from uh, PSG to keep the uh, aggro here uh, but it just seems to think that uh, SK are playing for that last bot they're kind of letting them have that control uh, you can see Twisty just staying back uh, they're, kind of just letting them, they're definitely letting them get this round I feel uh, so if they defend this one really well uh, Twisty's just going up trying to get a kill trying to go get aggro so he can get that respawn in and uh, nice while he's just making sure he can get some chip shots in uh, with Sandy because he can shoot through the boss but I mean both uh, brawlers are in full HP here and they are going to be able to melt uh, the boss that's the power of Pam and Daryl on defence and now uh, SK do have a 2 bolt lead so they just need to uh, pick apart 2 enemies here uh, Twist is going to do a really good job of winning his lane here it was probably a mistake from uh, Relay uh, to focus on, I think it was the mid there, he should have definitely focused on Daryl because now Twist is able to pick up two bolts and that's really what's going to turn this uh, game over. I think if Rally would have uh, rolled on, on Twisty to pick them two bolts up, it probably would have been a different story. Uh, but anyway, it's really well played from SK. They've only they conceded two bosses, but only conceded four uh, percent damage to that Ike, so I mean, they're definitely going to be able to get us here. Uh, it's quite satisfying to watch SK play Siege because it uh, plays so flawlessly and uh, it's really good teamwork from them. Uh, but yeah, we do manage to win that and it's now 2 1 to SK. Okay, guys, so it's set for now. It is Hot Potato uh, Heist and it's the first time I think uh, for the day it went to Heist. Uh, so Sky is going the Brock to counter 8 bit. Um, so it's actually a decent pick from Sky. Uh, as you know, 8 bit is really strong in this map, and uh, PSG do play it really well. So they have decided to ignore Wadi here. Uh, I don't know if that was the best choice. I mean, they somehow do defend it. Uh, as you see by the split cam, it's pretty OP. Uh, but Koopa gets a really important kill there. Uh, if there's all three enemies on the safe, it would have gone down so much quicker. And Rele does really, really well there to go back and kill. Uh, the remaining brawl on the safe and now it's base race and they do manage to pick it, pick up the win there that was a really quick game uh, but that was really well executed from the 8-bit uh, there he knew he had to uh, take that brawler out to uh, win the base race but it's now 2 all let's move on to the uh, final set okay guys so final set brawl ball penalty kick uh, is 1-0 currently to PSG so they need this uh, to win this game uh, uh, to obviously win the whole match and uh, it's a good start from Rene killing Twisty there. They're in a really good position because Sandy can get really good chip sh uh, shots from both of them here. Uh, they've just managed to miss out on that goal opportunity, but Jordan does really well uh, to put it, uh, position himself there. And uh, noticing that Twisty hasn't got enough ammo to take him out. Uh, it's really, Tara should be winning this. Uh, Tara does counter Carl pretty well. But I mean, Tara struggles early game. So. Uh, PSG really capitalising, playing really aggressively here. We do manage to get the team wipe, and uh, we do manage to take out SK there. That was some really quick brawl games, uh, but the team chemistry there was just absolutely amazing there. Uh, <laughs> Jordan playing out of his mind. <laughs> you see how ecstatic they all are. Uh, but yeah, so PSG do take out that win. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. As, as you can see by the bracket, Clash, SK Gaming, PSG and Code Mag Magic did uh, manage to make it through to the next round. Uh, it was really well played from these teams. Uh, there were some really, really close games. Uh, Code Magic went all the way to a game five and map three. Uh, so that was really well played from the Brazilian team there. Uh, then there against PSG, who, uh, as we saw there, 
te uh, took out SK, so PSG uh, could well be the favourites here. Uh, then there's Clash versus SK, that'll be such a great game. Uh, the games are shown at 12 o'clock CET time. Uh, I'll definitely be tuning it in. Uh, I'll probably be rooting for PSG because uh, obviously, as you know, we didn't make it to the first two qualifiers. So we, uh, we definitely want the uh, Asian team to win there. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know down in the comment section below what videos you want me to do next time. Uh, I've really enjoyed watching these games. Uh, they've been super fun and uh, really intense. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.